It's what are you three, do? Two, it's going to be the Lucian. He's going to have to work on these KOs. Okay, well, we're getting right into it. Game number one, Grand Finals. Got to remind everyone at home, if you don't know, Luna's got to win one best of five to reset to get another best of five. That's the advantage Yuz has coming in, having not lost a set today. Luna might struggle to find his way in on this Lance. He's doing a really good job of it so far, but of course this is just game one. You know when you have players of this caliber, a nice delight recovery, not quite enough to take off the top. But when you have players of these calibers, the adaptation, the counter adaptation, the counter counter adaptation, the counter 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 adaptation, ad nauseum. The levels of Omi just keep getting deeper right now, Luna. Trying to get another downlight recovery. He hit two. Ooh, so close. That didn't KO. The dare not going to connect. Hughes doesn't go over the corner for the ground pound. And Luna throws away the blasters. Weapon spawn comes in. Nice spot dodge to get through the side air from Hughes. Oh! He's been using them. That's something Luna's going to have to get used to very, very quickly. Luna gets away from dodge. Manages to survive. But he jumps and gets caught by the side air from Hughes. Down Sig this time will KO for Luna, but it took him so long that Yuz was able to add up damage onto him. Swapping back over to the Blasters. Of course, we are on Apocalypse. Spent a lot of time on the Dome today. I haven't spent too much time on Apocalypse. I think we've seen it a little bit. Nice side air. That's going to even things up. Yuz just a little bit behind, about one hit behind, but he does have weapon advantage. That soft platform moving over to the left side. In comes the weapon spawn right on top of it. Hughes playing that weapon denial game. His Lance has been on point. That's the thing that worked so well in his earlier set against Impala. Luna manages to pick up some Katars. The Nair from Hughes just covering the space above him. Now we see Hughes with the bow in his hand. We've been seeing him rely on that for a lot Ooh. of KOs with the bow down signature. We'll see if the next weapon spawn comes in, if he immediately jumps over to it, or if he wants to put a little bit more focus on this bow, especially in game one to see how it fares. Nope, right back over to that Lance. Where's the side air? He actually charges up the recovery, and the dodge comes through from Luna to get through it. Good dodge from Luna to get past that recovery from Yuz. Damage basically even between the two of them. Doesn't see the movement that he wanted. Sides oh. it gonna go over the head of use. Recovery. Just launches him high. Off the weapon bounce. Keeping use alive. There's the side air sending over to the edge. The weapon toss came out. Luna now has weapon advantage. We're gonna be looking for those down signatures. I expect it to come through anytime soon. Could G see it as well? What? There's the D light into the side air. We're not gonna get the chance for it. Next weapon use picks up is going to be that Lance, but it might take a moment before he grabs it. Never mind the unarmed side air. Big duff, big fist, sending Luna over to the edge. Had more than enough damage onto Luna's second stock, but Luna starting to put the damage onto the final stock of Yuz here in game number one. Yuz with the Lance in hand, Luna dodges back to avoid that chase nair. There's the down air. These turnaround neutral airs from Yuz, that is such a South American move on Lance. They've been doing that for the longest Whoa. time. And nice sig. punish there. We saw you catch other players with that insig riding Round it along down. the wall, and it's not a problem for Luna, who takes game one. He nods his head. He's like, the game plan worked. He knew exactly what he needed to do, and it worked against Hughes. There you saw that D light side air that took away the second stock of Hughes. And then that unarmed side air quickly evened things up. We went into our final stocks extremely even, and then Luna got a massive lead, took that stock while he was still in orange, still in a great spot. Dude, I don't know if Luna's got a coach, but whoever, Three, if he does, two, that one, dude deserves four. some paychecks after this because, like, clearly Luna had a game plan. He saw the earlier match of you with that GCN sick riding up the wall against Impala, and he's like, I know exactly what to do with my weapon kit that out. It would not surprise me if there was like a brain trust around Luna that, you know, when Luna doesn't actually make it in deep in the bracket and it's like another one of those people in the brain trust like Meg D or maybe even Stingray as well, I think they all just kind of help each other out and having so many different viewpoints helps so much. Different perspectives to oh! show the picture as Luna hits the down sig. One more hit needed, wow. but Hughes gets back up with the Nair chase dodging back onto the stage. He holds on to his first stock. Luna queued up that ground pound a little bit too late, so Hughes was able to 
find priority with the unarmed neutral air. He was also able to get back to the stage. Both players very much in the red, but use just a little bit further behind. Side air, not quite enough just yet. Is he going to look for the follow-up? He went for the dare, charging that recovery up. Didn't have enough range to get to Luna, who gets back to the main platform, picks up the guitar. Punish. The side signatures, man, they're still not working. He used them less and less against Impala once he really realized they weren't a solution. They still aren't here against Yuz, but the D-Sig, that one's working for him. D-Sig still doing that work. It's got the range that that side stick doesn't. He goes a little bit further, but Yuz with the Nair needs to get Luna a little bit further into that blast zone. Doesn't get that second Nair. Side air from, you, uh, from Luna. Recovering very high, so he wasn't too near Yuz on Yuz's recovery back to the main platform. There's the KO from Yuz. He's just about 50 damage behind. Waits as long as he can before he picks up that Lance. Starts off with a neutral light. Try to get the dash off the platform into the D-Light. Luna stuck on this corner, but Yuz giving him a lot of room to come back up safely. He wants to play that neutral game. Luna not able to read with that ground pound, but a great spot dodge as Yuz comes in with the Nair again. Yuz has such a good lance, I really thought Luna might struggle to get in with his guitars, but he's doing such a great job. He already did it in game one. It's continuing into game two as well. He almost makes it look easy. Down line, recovery. Luna takes another one. He's marching forward. He wants that reset. He can't make this one go too long. Has weapon advantage, it goes over to the left platform. Luna immediately goes for it. Keeping Yuz disarmed is a very effective strategy. Even though South America tends to have pretty strong unarmed, you're still just limiting the damage, limiting the KO potential, and limiting the hitbox priority. Ooh. Oh, down sig, but it goes the furthest distance possible. Luna still holding on, avoids the side air as well. Wants to get some more extra credit here as he goes in unarmed towards Yuz. Recovery's not enough! Was that one of the first d sigs we've seen from you so far? I feel like we haven't seen that many. Yeah, he's definitely not been throwing them out as much. I think Luna actually beat out one of them, so we didn't get to see the full animation, but now we're into the final stocks. Nice falling Nair, second Nair coming out from Luna, controlling the ground, does eat a side air. Look at the range game he's playing. Look at how far, the spacing is so strong from Luna until he chooses to dash in, chase after his opponent. That's big. Disarming use and having weapon advantage. Spawn comes in. It's going to be the bow. Down light. Recovery. Victory. Luna takes another one. 2-0 in favor of the North American. And this is scary for use. Nobody has taken two games off of use this entire day. Once we got into top 32, use 3 0'd anime, use 3 1'd Lores, then he got into top 8, 3 1'd Boomy, and 3 1'd Impala. Luna has already done something that nobody else has done today. The momentum is on his side. You heard him, he was feeling good going into this one, and I think he's probably feeling Three, even better. Two, yeah, he's got to be feeling one, great four. right now. Currently up 2 0 on the precipice of a reset over use. Got to do it here on Demon Island. This map has historically favored the Lance players. Good blasters play coming out from Luna. Trying to keep Yuz on this corner. Nice back dash into yep. the side light. That's a blasters classic right there. If the D light misses and they start to make a move, hit that easy back dash into the side light. If they don't recover high, you hit them. If they do recover high, who cares? They're not anywhere near you. You're completely safe. But the corner guarding coming out from Yuz. Throws out a Nair there. Wouldn't have KO'd, but just trying to get some more damage onto Luna. He does have the damage advantage as he throws away the, uh, the Lance, but he's over to the bow. That's the first side yeah. sig I've seen from him. Rare side signature coming out from Hughes, and we may not see it again because it did not make a connection. Luna is just a little bit behind here. Nice GC side light. The turnaround neutral light. Got the dodge. Didn't go for the recovery there. He's, he's being so oh! careful with the recoveries now. He's not throwing them out hardly ever, especially not after like neutral light turnaround read into the jump recovery. But that time he finally hit a side signature and got the KO. There's the GCD light into the down air, into the turnaround neutral light, into the unarmed neutral light. Oh, but he dash jumps into the down sig from Muse, eats the weapon toss as well, manages to get the wall touch still. That's that movement speed that Lucian brings to the table. and. He wants the unarmed edge guard now. 
We almost saw if Fuse would have charged that up a little bit more, he would have ridden it up the wall, and Luna was right there to attempt the D-Light, likely leading into the ground pound. Probably wouldn't have led to the KO, but might have set up an edge guard that could. All right, second stocks here. Good extra credit for Luna. Definitely not undoable for Yuse, but this is a nice spot to be in if you're on the side of Luna. Sidelight, neutral light into the neutral air, chasing upwards. Even felt comfortable enough to burn his dodge. Yu is going right in. He didn't do that early enough to where it rides straight up the wall. He went where you go perpendicular to it and go straight in. Yeah, and Luna was not quite ready for that one. You saw him actually going a lot higher there, expecting Yu to ride up along it. Needs to get this stock, though. Yu's being real careful not to land on top of Luna because he knows a downlight will lead immediately into that recovery. Luna's also being really careful. He notices that Yu's is very much in the red. He knows that a recovery KOs off the top. He knows a neutral signature might even KO at this point. There's the side air, Yu's. Over on the edge, there. weapon toss comes out. Yu's is able to get back, grab a weapon, toss it Ooh. away, grab a lance as well. So he's back on his main weapon. He stripped oh. the field. Luna went a little bit too high and got hit by the initial hitboxes, more towards the player than the tip of the lance. Yeah, he was right inside that hitbox. Yu's, can he get that extra credit now? This time above Luna gets a downlight. Downlight recovery from Luna, not quite enough. Unarmed, just not having the force, but it will after that one. Evening things up here. Holding on to the blasters, now tossing them away to pick up the Katars. Bo comes in for Yuzi, immediately tosses it down. Not really too afraid of possibly being disarmed because that weapon spawn comes in, he gets to it instantly. Grabs the Lance, his main weapon of choice. Oh, hits him with the GC side light, but Yuzi gets past him. Luna wanted that edge guard. A 3-0 would be one hell of a way to start Grand Finals for Luna. Oh. Granting him the bracket reset, oh. forcing another best of five. He's chasing off stage with these guitars so yeah, hard. Light. He's burning his dodges for oh. gravity cancels. Luna seems so confident right now. He is still a little bit behind, but he's up two games. GC sideline gets too high and use. Gets the punish. Sideline side air. No 3-0 for Luna to immediately reset it. We're going to a game four. I think he needed a woe back just a little. Not a lot, just a little. You were seeing the confidence. You were seeing the swagger. It was effective from him. The dodges that he was burning off stage to throw moves, he wasn't getting punished. He wasn't getting caught out. It was really only right at the end. He stretched a little bit too far and fell over the edge. It's like he was going towards a, a curve, and you see those speed limit signs that are in yellow, and they're like, go 40. No. He's like, what if I yeah. a little higher? Yo, come on, you go way there. faster than that. Those, those don't even mean anything. Well, here we go. Game number four, this time not on Demon Island. We're over to Apocalypse and Luna. He's got the weapon control, and he saw Yuz was not going to approach it, so he's like, all right, might as well at least try to go for a weapon toss, try to open up Yuz and keep this game flowing. See, stuff like that. You still see the confidence coming out from Luna. The weapon toss down into the GC D-Light to catch Yuz on his approach over to the weapon toss. Like, that's that's a risky play, but he felt confident doing it. It, it could have been a really strong choice, and he didn't take too much punishment from it. So his risk assessment, really strong. Still going for more weapon tosses. Wants to keep the Katars in hand. Oh, he's being careful with this one. Yuse tries to catch him going high. Luna did get back down. Oh, but the recovery charged up from Yuse. Luna did not want to take that. You even saw him put his hand up in the air once it happened. Yuse sitting pretty in the yellow on his first stock. Already hits a sidelight into the down air. Luna hits a two-piece, gets Yuse into the orange. Hoping for these down airs maybe to send Yuse over towards the edge, force him onto the wall where Luna can make an edge guard happen. More downlights. Use just denying weapons. Goes for the haymaker there, and use stuffs it with the GC downlight. Falling there, keeping that weapon denial going. Downlight ground pound optimal for damage. Tries to go for the soft platform downlight as well. Wanted to keep it going, but he needs this stop. He can't find his way in with the Katars anymore. He was doing such a good job of it earlier. We Whoa. praised him for it, and that's the counter adaptation that we were talking about. All of a sudden, Muse has a massive full stock lead against Luna here. Luna touches down, goes low there to avoid that end sig. The Nair actually launches Muse down. Side air. Finally, Luna manages to clean up the stock, but the extra credit for Muse is real nice. Big Slap made the connection. 
Got the KO there. Use. He's able to get to these weapons so fast, and Luna already spent a bunch of time this game stuck on the unarmed kit. It's the edge guard. Just gonna go for the corner. Luna gets back up safely, got the ground touch. There. Oh, but again, the weapon, the recovery from Yu's just connecting onto Luna. Charging these ones up, charging these Lance recoveries up. He's finding connections with them. He doesn't have to use his signature kit on the Lance. I mean, even on the bow, Whoa. he's really not relying on them like he was previously. Luna's just not ready for it. Now, final stock here for Luna in game number four. Side air, down light. Goes for the chase, turn around side air. Luna, again, forced to be in a position where he needs to clean up the stock ASAP. Good chase dodge up, fastball recovery, catches used there, but it's not enough. Down line into the recovery, final stocks here. It was looking a little bit dire for him, but he really turned it around. Incredible Qatar strings coming out, especially that recovery that added up enough damage so he could find that D-Light into the recovery to take off the top with the blasters back over to the Qatars. We're Ooh. seeing him play a little bit more carefully now, but Yuse is just winning these neutral engagements. He's forcing Luna over onto the wall. Even the GCD sig, you're hitting Yuse when he's in yellow. It's not going to be the biggest amount of damage. Whoa! It's not going to be the biggest force. Luna over on the edge, Such still is. has his dodge. Sidelight misses and use with the punish. We're going to game five. Is it going to be a reset or will it be a South American victory? Now Luna finds himself in a very scary moment. Coming off of the victory against Impala, that fired him up. You heard him. He was feeling good. He started off. Game one against Yuz, feeling great there as well, looking strong. All of a sudden, Yuz started to turn things around. Now, Yuz has turned it into a game five. The pressure is mounting here. It cannot Three, get two, more intense one, as four. Luna needs to win this for a bracket reset into a fresh best of five. Weapon denial, not gonna happen. Use picks up a bow immediately. Doesn't even get the downlight there. But you still see the flurry of hitboxes coming out from Luna. We'll see if he continues to get in a little bit of trouble for that with all the punishes that are coming out from Yuse. He's doing a great job of punishing so many moves that Luna is throwing out. Luna is attempting to be aggressive, and Yuse is just punishing all of the whiffs that Luna throws out. Yuse keeping that corner guard. Luna comes back up. Nice jump over the side air, over to the blasters. Nope, just a reset. Wants to prime a second set of Qatars. Side air slapping Yuse away. Gonna be hunting for a KO soon. He's doing a great job this game. You're seeing the neutral air juggle coming out from Yuse. There he finally throws out that opposite direction read. We haven't seen that in a minute. Neutral light into the turnaround recovery. That time he waits. Changes things up. Goes for the mix-up. So Yuse doesn't feel comfortable with any dodge or jump options. Deep red here. Luna needs to get this KO soon. There's the down light. There's the side air. Luna. Plays it safe with the KO option, and he's going to be going back to the Qataris for the second stock of use. Moving over on the soft platform. No, he's actually sticking with the blasters here. Going to attempt to juggle with the neutral airs. Got sent up. Use able to grab the lance from the weapon spawn that came to the soft platform. The juggles, a very effective tool for blasters players. A very safe, solid damage per move as well. Oh, that ground pound thrown out. Side air from use. Luna trying to cover his head with those high tosses. Yuz tries to catch the movement of Luna going past him. He goes for that reverse recovery. Oh, but it's the down sick. That's two recoveries that came out from Yuz that didn't make connection when that was a successful tool before. Yuz notices that all of a sudden we're back to using that D sick. Just that change up. The recovery is so good at covering high. And that down sick really good at covering low. Luna not able to get that neutral light. Yuz had the dodge up. Side light in air. You starting to take some serious damage here. That's not going to be enough just yet. You see him go back to the blasters because he knows he can hit. Well, this time it's going to be a raw recovery, but he knows that a D-Light recovery or a D-Light save from the right spot would be the KO option. The true KO option that he wouldn't have if he still had the guitars in his hands, but he has them now. But he doesn't want them because he's going over to the blasters yeah. again, trying to deny these weapons. Use 
with the movement, gets inside of the blasters downline and gets to the other side as well. Now he's got a bow in hand. Luna has a lot of room for extra credit here. He's just in the orange. Oh. Yuz is on his less favorable weapon. Whoa. You see him fast fall down to avoid that down sig. Yuz over to the lance now. Needs to get some damage built up onto Luna here, but Luna with a great pickup there into the down line. Gets a neutral light here as well. And in there, he's still connecting onto Yuz. Luna playing around that soft platform, using that to essentially extend the floor upward. Juggling. Yeah. It's not going to take too much more. A D-Light recovery might do it. I think a signature from any normal spot on the map might take away this final stock from Yuz, granting Ooh. Luna the reset. He has a full stock lead on Yuz. Sare might be enough. The weapon tosses. We got a reset for Luna. It took a lot of damage that game. I believe it was around 623 by the time things were all said and done. But Luna held on and he had a major lead at the end of that game it didn't come down to last hit red because he still had a full stock to his name the clutch king luna he started going up two games felt confident Hughes got the counter adaption all of a three, sudden things might have been looking a little bit rough but in game five the confidence the clutch of luna came back now we're in game one of the reset and we're back to apocalypse a fresh slate for both sides winner of this is going to be the dream hack Dallas champion will NA take back the crown or will it be the South Americans use no character swaps Luna sticking with the Lucian starting this one off with the Katars when he was focusing a lot Auto. of blasters lack game oh. he even went for the ground pound as the mix-up option rather than trying to turn around that dare and keep it going wait Use though, swinging back onto him, gets the side air. Luna, does he have the movement? No. Use able to get the initial stock here. And that's what's really scary is, yeah, that was a very flashy string. It was very cool. It was effective and added up a lot of damage, but all of a sudden, Use turned things around, found the KO. And Use isn't even into the early stages of red yet. Yeah, it's like, that's a nice four hit string from your four strength Lucian. Good job. Side air though from Luna. Can he get the recovery for the KO? The side airs are adding up the damage. It's the down sig. Immediate rebuttal from Luna. Probably going to stick with the blasters, maybe? No, he's going back to the guitars. So even Luna is changing things Wait. up. Yeah. Still sticking with these guitars, like you said. He's he's doing a really good job mixing up both the options, but also like the weapon selections, yeah. like you were kind of saying. There's the Lance. See the neutral air hit into the follow-up side air. No major commitment off stage. He does do that down air Yo. over the corner. This is how deep Luna is chasing on the edge to hit neutral airs on Yuz while Yuz is still in the yellow. He's getting damage. He wants that damage response, but Yuz just hits a little bit harder. The downline actually goes into the downline of Lu uh, Luna. Yeah, I almost feel like he wanted to be off the platform and actually throw out a down air there. But somehow the D-Light actually ended up working as he fell with that flame trail behind him. Oh! The charge recoveries from Yuz. Worked so well in game number four pre-reset. Working pretty well here in game number one, but the recovery is not enough for Luna. The D-Light recovery comes out from Yuz, picking up really high as well, but still, Luna still in the white. So it really didn't do anything but a little bit of damage. But Luna is on that final stock. So even a little bit of damage is solid here for Yuz. He's still on his second. Dare. Down air going to spike, but it does bounce off still the wall. Still has recovery. Charging that still one up. Still has Ensig. He even had side air as an option where if he didn't want to burn a dodge, and Luna backed up. He wanted to be careful. There were just so many options there, but that was a burn dodge from Luna. Still gets back up, goes for the fast fall in there. Needs this stock of use ASAP. He just can't find him. You saw how far that weapon toss walking oh. use oh. on the head. There nice. it is. That's going to do it for sure. But Luna is in the red. Not sure if a side air will do it. If it's in the right spot, like even just on the edge of the main stage, I think a side air might do it at this point. Going for some sairs here. Sweat beads coming out from use, but Luna's got the weapon advantage. Needs to maintain it. Chase dodges forward, and that lets use get past. Pick up a bow. He wants the lance. He gets over to it almost instantly, keeping Luna weapon starved. 
There is a weapon spot on the field. Luna took his time to get over to it. Wanted to play right. safe. D-Light recovery. He's almost completely evened it up on this final stock. One more juggle and we're even. Ooh, the Nair's from Yuse. Does not want this one even. This is game one and after the reset and Yuse is going to take it with the side air. That was the one more Sare that Yuse needed to clean up that game. He put enough extra credit on that final stock of Luna for when he fell, he was able to clean it up quickly. And this one is going down to the wire. Yuna, sorry. It's, it's so <laughs> yeah, easy to say that. It's so easy to say that. But not the other direction. Not uh, I'm never going to say lose. Three, yeah, lose, two, lose is, is one, definitely not going to happen. Yuna definitely has happened already. But, uh, man, he was getting that one stare that he needed. Now he's going for the weapon denial. Both of them have exactly the same line attack accuracy. Used throughout 70, picked up 46% accuracy. Luna put out 81, also with 46% accuracy. Well, he needs more light attacks. Again, he's bringing not the most strength to the table. Lucian, he's in that strength stance, but I believe it only brings him up to four. They're both actually in strength stance. Okay. I ha I mean, I, I don't know anything about the Vector community whatsoever because I, I, like, I know there is probably a Vector community because there's a community for every legend, but I don't know what is the smartest one or the agreed upon stance to take for the vector community i mean it makes a lot of sense in this matchup at the very least right lucian does have a fair bit of defense you want to take it away from that as much as you can over to the blasters now can he get the recovery use jumping around doing great evasive movement not getting caught but that's the downside which leaves him punishable for the side air falling side air sending use over onto the right side he recovers high has the soft platform as a safe haven to touch get his jumps back moving all the way over to the left trying to be elusive against luna now luna's the one stuck over on that wall that dare right oh. over the corner he even goes for the gcd light didn't quite have the range on it denies the weapon though side sig connects luna gonna get the slight lead What's the weapon pick? Katars? Sticking with them. Sticking with these Katars here. Oh, throws them away. Forcing the unarmed pressure on to oh. use. There's the D-Sig. Frustrated that he got hit by that. It's a, such a good option when your opponent's playing unarmed, though. <laughs> like, they want to get stacked up against you, so do the thing that basically covers both sides of you. Yep. makes it really hard to stack up on. Oh, use. He's trying to extend this off stage. There's the D Sig going right over the corner. Not sure if he meant to be still aerial and going for a ground pound because that was a little bit of a weird spot given where Luna was for him to throw oh, the D Sig. Whoa. Dude, Yuse is getting so much more aggressive in these off stage. He's been sitting on the corner a lot, just throwing out like neutral lights or trying to catch with that snare. But instead, now he's getting more aggressive. But Luna back on stage getting some good damage out. There's the side air. Already nice one there. recovery came out from Yuse. If he wanted to throw out another one, it would be that exhausted recovery, having a minimum charge time. Still has good force despite that charge, but he's staying high above Luna. Comes back down, catches him with a neutral light, gives him the stage control. Sides it with. Oh, the oh, spacing! Stairs. And the timing coming out from Yuse to get away from that juicy side sig that came out from Luna. That would have been a beautiful turnaround, sending Yuse over into the left blast zone, but the spacing was just too good. Yuse backs away. It's the weapon toss. Where's the down sig? Weapon toss from Luna. Catches him with the neutral light. Going to back away, pick up the Katars, throws them away, and Yuse gets the neutral air. Yuse was feeling good about the GCD sigs, just like a little bit above the main platform, but all of a sudden he's not doing that anymore. He's even being very conservative with the down sigs he throws out, period. He knows how much of a commitment it is, especially when Luna has a weapon in his hands. When he's unarmed, it might be a little bit different. When he has blasters or katars, gotta be a little bit more careful. There's the D-Light into the side air for the KO. Last stocks a piece here in game two of the grand final reset. And you know Luna really wants this game because Winning three in a row is so much harder than winning what is effectively a best of three with information. You want to get this one back to even in game count. Finding his way in, you saw him stutter for a second, hesitate for just a second to try and switch up the timing, get that dodge out from you so we can really go to string down. 
The strings are unwinding as Hughes gets hit after hit. He gets the cider. He's got the corner guard. Gets him with the down air. Luna running out of health to play with here. Neutralite's going to launch him and disarm him. Hughes chasing. Goes for the recovery. Luna gets below it. He's still not finding any damage. Down light, side light, nair. Side air. Wrong side of the stage means it's not a KO just yet. That weapon oh! toss goes up. Hughes goes in, and he goes in hard. Hits the down air, bouncing Luna off the stage, somehow avoiding threading the needle there with the weapon toss. Finds the KO and is now up two games in a row. He's now won four games. Is that right? Period. Or it's not in a row because Luna got yeah. the reset. He's now won four games against Luna. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I said that in the math in my head is like, there's no way that's true. But yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah. I'm just a worrier. That's, that's, that's why fair. I grind. It's because you know there's going to be that one Twitch chat who's like, no, it was only yeah. three. Used to be Kyler Alice back in the day. He, he always checked me when I was wrong. But now Luna's in the spot to have to win three. Three, in two, a row. One, Otherwise, draw. the South Americans are going to be taking home the DreamHack Dallas champion here in Brawlhalla 1v1. First weapon goes to use. It is that Lance, but he wasn't able to find any damage before Luna ended up picking up his own set of blasters. Luna over on the wall. We see use. You know, he's, he's kind of flip-flopping whether I really want to go in for that edge guard or whether I just want to stay on the main platform. But Luna, he's going in over on the edge, punishing the landing as well. He's got a good number of hits there, but like, look at the damage. It's really not that much. Qatar is, you need to get so much out of him to get that damage lead. That is, that is the woes of being a Qatar player, is you have to find so many more connections to put out the same damage that other weapons are. But the side air. Now he another chooses one. to go in. Yeah, he's being really picky and choosy for a while in that uh, pre-reset grand finals. He mostly just stayed on stage, but now he's willing to go out there, throw out the dares, throw out the stairs, throw out that recovery as well. Over space is the D-Light from the Blasters. Hits the neutral light into the turnaround neutral air. Whoa. Ooh, not sure if he wanted to interrupt that on the main platform and like bait a dodge out from Luna or even bait something out like a neutral air or if he actually wanted to con actually commit with the ground pound there. Probably wanted to get stuck on the wall. I think that was the main thing he wanted to do. Goes down for the dare. Recovery, not quite enough. They're gonna launch use weapon toss to catch the movement. Luna cleans it up. Two stocks of Luna separate use from total victory here at DreamHack Dallas, continuing the legacy that he started at the Spring Royale coming in first place, proving to everybody how strong of a 1v1 player is. He is, and how he can still do oh. it at an open tournament, and he's keeping it going, oh. charging up the recovery this Sends time, almost taking the stock. Not quite enough, but this is really nice damage for Yuz. Luna picks up some blasters, jumps over the sidelight, double nair. Yuz finds a response, and the recovery is going to put Luna on his tournament stock here. This is scary for Luna. He's on his final stock, and he knows that Yuz still in the orange. The Qatar's in the hand of Luna. He's going to have to find a lot of unanswered damage, starting off with the neutral light into the neutral air, but then he takes an immediate hit from Yuz. Dare from Yuz. Side light dare. He's getting damage out onto Luna's final stock here. That side air doesn't hit the nair. Still finding hits. Wants the blasters. A little bit more KO potential. I feel like we haven't seen the Blasters in a minute. He's been focusing a lot on the Qatars. This part of the grand final set. Side light. The pokes. Backs away. Side light doesn't hit the Yen Sig. Recovery is still not enough for Luna. He dodges up through the weapon toss. He goes for the recovery high. Yuz is so close to finishing this one out. The woes of a low oh. strength legend. That, even that doesn't do it. Are you kidding me? Still not enough. Luna doesn't hit the ground pound. Goes deep, gets back. Use with the weapon. Is Luna going to be looking for a signature? He's going to throw that weapon toss down. He can't take oh! the second stock. Finally, he does. But he's taking so much damage. He is very much in the red. Weapon spawn comes in. You oh. snakes it away. Oh! And it's his weapon of 
choice. Hughes has done it. He has unseated Luna. He has done it for South America, and he has done it for himself. Hughes is your dream hack Dallas 1v1 champion. Vamo Brazil, they take it. People keep discounting the win at the Spring Royale, but you can't discount this one because he took out so many big names. He beat out Impala, he beat out 